All right. Let's look at this. This is another one now. So, to methyl butan to all is an example of a. Mm, you know, have primary alkanol, secondary alkanol, and tertiary alkanol. These are the types of alkanol we have. All right. But which one is it? Some of you know it. You may even know it. And some of you have started guessing now. Now, let's solve it. The first thing we have to do here. Okay, let me show you the first thing. The, in terms of types of alkanol, it depends on the carbon atom that is having this functional group, OH. How many carbon atoms is it carrying? So if you have something like this, R, H, H, something like this. This is primary. Why R is like a methyl or an, alky an alkyl? Then if you have something like this, you have something like this, C, O, H, then R, R, H. This is it. This one is two, two carbon atoms. This one is what? Secondary. Then up here, if you have something like this, C O H R R. This one is what? Tertiary. So we are going to draw this. If we draw this, we we'll know the one that has this kind of structure. Now let's do it together. So it says two methyl. But and two all. But can say one, two, three. Because this is all. So we can put our CH3 here. This boots. But and all. But and all. Then we, have, we want it to have this form of shape. This is boot. So we start numbering from here, as I taught you. Your numbering will start from here. One, two. 2 methyl, so we we'll put the met here. C H3. 1, 2 methyl. Butan 2 all. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 2 methyl. Butan 2 all. I taught you this in our previous video. So if you've not seen our previous video, go and check. Go and check. You will see it. Alright, thank you very much. So we can put this one. Now, this is CH3, this is CH2, that is HH like this. So let me clean this to avoid confusion. All right, all right. So now, which, which of these three has this kind of structure? CH3, CH3, C, this is it. Tertiary, which one is this? Okay, it's a tertiary alkanol. So this is how to solve this question. Again, I will teach you in our next class, oxidation of of alkanols. When you oxidize primary alkanol, what do you have? When you oxidize secondary alkanol, what do you have? Can you oxidize tertiary alkanol? That is a question. You can even go and check it. And you can even give, give us the answer in the comment section. But I will still teach it. Thank you very much. Another question, please. How many minutes? Mm. Alright, see this question. Due to a stable nature of a time, it is done by dissolving it in what? Now, you have learned something. A time is unstable. So, you have learned one thing. But because it's unstable, unstable in which of these can we store it? Now, I want you to know that a time is sparingly soluble in water. It's a gas. Eh? Is fairly soluble in water. If you try to compress it, compress it to liquid, eh, this will cause explosion. Eh? It will cause explosion. If you compress it to liquid, it will cause explosion. So the best thing to do is to store it in propanone. That is a, a steel cylinder. Steel, something made of steel and propanone. So this will now help to you know, stabilize it. So the answer is what? Propanone. So you have learned that it is very really soluble in water. And you store it in a, in a steel container that has, that has propanone in about 12 atmosphere. In about 12 atmosphere. So the answer is what? Propanone. Not any of these ones. Taken. Alright, next question. Alright, let's look at this 
Let's look at this question now. The type of isomerism shown by cis and trans isomers is optical isomerism, positional isomerism, positional isomerism, functional isomerism, and geometrical isomerism. Mm. Isomerism. In our previous video, I taught isomerism. Mm? Same molecular formula, different structural formula. Go and check it. You will like it. And I assure you, you will like it. Let's look at this isomerism. Now, cis and trans, very quickly. Look at the cis isomerism. It has what? Boat like structure. Boat like structure is like a boat. So it's like this. In, in, and in this, we are going to have double bond. There, double bond. Then, in trans, trans is chair like. Chair like what? Structure. Cis for boot, trans for chair. So we have something like this. This is how trans is. So this is cis and trans. Alright, I hope you have done that. Have something like there. this. Thank you. So, we can have something like this. Something like this. This is cis. We can also have something like this. You can put hydrogen. Hydrogen and as it may be. But let's just be fast a bit. Then chlorine. This is cis. This one is trans. You can put hydrogen, hydrogen as it may be. So, this is cis, trans, and the now the only when it involves in this form of structure, we'll call it what? Geometrical isomerism. Geo, cis, and trans. Geometric isomerism. So now we can continue with other questions. Right? I like this question. The formula for ethyl butanoate is ethyl et for two, but for four. Oh, it's for alkanoid, the esters. All right. So we are going to look at it. There's a little confusion here. For the alkanoid is R C O O R R C O R as I did tell students. C O R alkanoid. All right. So but there's always an asterisk here, which means in alkanoid, you name this one first before you can name these ones. Take cognizance of this carbon atom that is here as well. Take note of this, right? So we have R here, we have this. So you name this one before this. So this carbon atom also is part of what you are going to count. So let's let me name all these one by one. Now this is two C2 ethyl one plus four five. This is two ethyl five pentanoids, right? Et ethyl pentanoid so this is not the correct answer look at this one c4 but eh? but butyl 1 plus 2 3 propanate butyl propanate butyl propanate so it's not well, look at this one c3 pro propyl Propanoid, propyl, one plus two, three, 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 propyl, propanoid. So this is not. Now let's look at this one. C two, ethyl, one plus three, four, ethyl butanoid, ethyl but. All right. So this is the answer. You can even draw this R C O O R. You can draw it like this. Put this one here. Then all these ones like this. So you can this is structural formula. This one is molecular formula. This is structural formula. I hope you can do that. All right, try it. So in our next class, I will try to bring other areas like substitution reaction, addition reaction, formation of and production of some uh, hydrocarbons preparation. We can even look at uh, benzene and uh, the derivatives. And other ones, as I promised you, are canals as well. So please do well to join us. Always uh, check our YouTube uh, uh, channel, and also put you can put the notification button on. Share, subscribe if you have not. I wish you success. You shall succeed. Primo says bye.